It's seriously windy. Good morning, YouTubes. Can't bike here again. Uh, recording this on Christmas Eve. And although it absolutely pelted down with rain last night, the roads are lovely and dry, and that's down to the wind. So it's blowing a gale. Well, I seem to have found a quiet spot at the minute, which is nice. I've just been uh, riding down the dual carriageway at 70, with the uh, bike tipped over to go in a straight line, which is quite entertaining. So, uh, my last chance, I guess, to say Merry Christmas to you all. That's assuming I get this uploaded today, otherwise that's going to sound really silly. Probably not as silly as I sounded last night though. Last night was uh, Who Am I UK One's Hangout that I stumbled across by accident. It just popped up in uh, my subscriptions on YouTube that it was happening, so I, uh, I dropped by. Finally got the Google Plus business working to get in a hangout. And I think it's all down to Calm Biker Google Plus being a page. Whereas my uh, uh, well, I already had a Google Plus account that I used for my website. Didn't really want to have the two things linked together, but I guess with a Google Plus page you can't actually get involved in a Hangout. You can watch it, but you can't actually take part. If anybody can find out a way where a Google Plus page owner can take part under that name, uh, please let me know. I'd uh, love to know. What are we doing here? Synchronised parking. So I'm, uh, I've not got a topic for today, I'm just going out for a ride and I'm popping into the uh, Toyota garage in Hull. I've um, I bought a car, let me see, I, I, think I, uh, I think I got it at the end of January this year, so I've had it not quite a year yet and um, I bought it on the recommendation of pretty much every motoring magazine and um, Top Gear on the telly, although to be fair it was Top Gear magazine because Top Gear on the telly had the car on after I'd actually bought the car. It's one of the, um, the Toyota GT86's. I really can't stand the damn thing. Um, they made out in the magazines that it was a brilliant driver's car. This was before I had a bike. And um, everything about it was perfect. And they made a great deal about the driving experience, the gearbox. It's, I mean, it's not a particularly fast car, it's quick, but it's not aimed to be fast. You know, it's not a Focus ST or anything like that. But it's all about handling and they talk about the super slick, super smooth gearbox and all this kind of stuff. And it all sounded great and I bought one and for a month it was fantastic. And then in March it developed a fault. And the fault was that it started to crunch into second gear. And I reported it and said they'd have a look at it but they didn't really know what to do with it. They had a quick look and didn't get very far. And then it started crunching into third gear and then into fourth gear. And then after it was crunching in second, third and fourth it decided that occasionally it wasn't going to go into second gear at all. So you would be in first gear, you'd pull out, maybe for side junction, something like that, go for second gear, and you could not get it into second gear. You wouldn't be able to get into first again because the synchros would stop you. Uh, you'd be in two lower revs to get it into third safely. And uh, quite a few times it's put me in spots that are quite dangerous. You know, you're trying to pull away from a side junction somebody's coming at you or occasionally I've been pulling away with somebody behind me who's then just followed on and nearly rear-ended me when they you know, don't realise that I've got no drive I can't get anywhere and I'll say this, this happened in March and developed over till about probably May, June time and they looked at it a few times and they tried some tweaks to the setup couldn't get anywhere with that then they replace the entire clutch assembly and that made things better for a very short while and then it started doing it again 
Uh, then they got a guy from Toyota GB came up to see me. So I was uh, honoured by a visit by Toyota, so I thought I was actually getting somewhere. But unfortunately, they couldn't fix it either. Um, they, um, if that was a bike about to get nicked. They had a look at it, they decided they were going to try some thinner gearbox oil. Tried that, it's not really worked. And I'm kind of stuck 11 months on with a car that occasionally is dangerous and certainly is no fun. And of course since then I've bought a bike. So I guess now pretty much any car is not going to be fun, by comparison. Anyway, they rang me yesterday after I'd been emailing and leaving messages and what have you and had nothing for about a month from the dealership. They rang me and asked me to give them a call back, but I thought I'd give it the personal touch, so I'm going to pop in and see them. With any luck, they're going to tell me I'm uh, due for a new gearbox. <laughs> Don't know if that's good or not, actually. A yeah, very Christmassy mode there. <laughs> oh dear. Getting in the spirit. Get all my moans out of the way before tomorrow and I can try and be happy all day tomorrow. Fill up on Christmas food. Walk in the afternoon. Anyway. That's my uh, my little grumble. So, thanks for watching. Thanks to Who Am I UK One for hosting the um, hangout last night. And to all the other guys who were in the hangout. That was a good bit of fun. Much beer drinked. Drinked? Maybe. I hope that beer's not still affecting me. Much beer drinked. Good bit of fun. I got to put a few faces to uh, to what we normally see of just the side of a helmet. The old motor vloggers. Ride safe everyone. Have a good Christmas. And I'll talk to you all again soon.